Hi everyone, it's Alana here from Big Rock Labradoodles, your kick-ass breeder of multi-generational Australian Labradoodles here in Alberta, Canada. Welcome to my channel. Before I start, I'd like you to just go ahead and hit that bell there and subscribe to our channel. This really helps my channel for more people to be able to see it and uh, make sure that you never miss a new video when I post it. So this is Diamond and what we're doing here today is demonstrating how to clean ears. So let me show you. Diamond needs her ears done all the time. So you can see the kind of red gunkies in there. Something else I want to point out about Diamond is she has a lot of these nodules in her ears and they kind of go deep down in there like you can see right down in there. So this is this is her ear canal down down this way. But dogs that have a lot of these nodules in their ears seem to have more trouble with their ears with respect to them being dirty. So that's one thing to note. Diamond doesn't need her ears plucked at this time because I, I stay on top of her ears, but she does have a lot of trouble with yeast. We're trying to control it with diet, but she is, she is one of our girls that has a lot of trouble. So this video is gonna be about cleaning, and then we're gonna pause midway through and we're gonna uh, take you to a different dog where we're gonna show you how to pluck the ears. All right, so let's get started. This is a product that I have uh, come to love. It's not an inexpensive product. It's from Amazon. It's $39 a bottle, Canadian. Um, if you go on our website under the extras tab on the menu and then recommended products, you will be able to find this in there if you're interested. We've used a few different products. I have one from the vet that uh, is a, has a drying element to it. You wanna grab that, Debbie? And uh, we have another one that we send home in our puppy kits that has one cleaner and one drying agent, and it's good too. Um, I just have found Diamond needs a little something extra. So if you're struggling and you're finding that it just nothing's working, I would I would say go ahead and give this product a try. It is a, an organic product. This is the one that I used to use from the vet, and for most of my dogs, this works just fine when they need just an occasional cleaning. So. This is how you clean the dog's ears. We've got some, thank you, some uh, cotton puffs ready. Now something really important to note is you don't ever wanna put this tip right in your dog's ear because if the dog had any kind of infection brewing, now you would have dirtied the tip and the next time you go to clean, you know, you might be causing a problem there and if you had more than one dog, you could take a problem from the one dog to the next dog. So you're going to lift up the ear flap and you're just going to pour a little bit just like this. See how I've got the ear kind of cupped? So that's going to run right down her ear canal. Then what you want to do is just apply some gentle pressure on the outside here and massage it. You can kind of pinch with the outside. I kind of, I let the ear fall, but it's I'm just rubbing. Maybe you can hear it. The washing machine's going, but it's you can hear it. It's kind of washing around in there. You don't want to press too hard. Their ears are very sensitive, especially if they've got, you know, sore ears. And then I'm going to see if Diamond's going to shake that out for me. Go ahead, Diamond, shake. 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 Shake, baby. Shake. Come on, shake. Atta girl. So if, the, if you can get the dog to shake, that's going to help some of your work to, because they're going to shake some of that dirt out. So I'm going to start on the outside here, which is damp now from the ear cleaner. And you can see that brown gunk coming off. And I'm not just going to do this one time. It, it is, uh, you have to do this two or three times if your dog's ears look like diamonds. So I am pushing down into the ear canal there, but I'm not, you know, I'm, I've got nails, so I got to be careful that I'm not hurting the dog. I'm kind of just pushing the, the cotton into there in a wad, and then I'm going to twist the cotton. So it's getting in there, but I'm not pushing my, my nails down in there because, of course, you want to be careful about the, the dog's ear canal, eardrum. See? Very dirty. So I'm going to go ahead and give that another wash. So same thing. I'm just going to pour it into the fold there without touching the ear. Keep that liquid in there and give it another massage. And it is totally normal for your dog to shake their head for the rest of the day. They just have extra fluid in there and they're shaking it out. You ha don't feel like you've hurt them or it wasn't good for them. 
You gotta get all that gunk out because it's itchy. Do you wanna shake? Shake. Shake, baby. Come on, Dana, shake it. <laughs> shake. No, nope, she doesn't wanna shake this time, so that's fine. I'm still just gonna go to it. This uh, product actually smells really nice. Some products have a smell that doesn't mix well with the smell of the ears. So when Diamond's ears look like this, there's a distinct yeasty smell, which is that smell that people describe as uh, Fritos, that corn chip sort of smell. So that's better, you can see. It's a little less, So, but I need to do it again. And with Diamond, I will never get to a point where I would get her ears completely clean. But hopefully that's not the case with most of your dogs. I mean, I could with Diamond if I kept at it for 12 or 13 tissues, but I'm not going to put her through that because her ears would get too sore. So I'm probably just going to do it this one last time. And then make sure I get some of that cleaner up here because I can now wipe that again too. Get done, shake. Shake your head. Good girl. Good shake. Yes, good cool girl. So I'm going to wipe that out again. So that's looking nice and pink there. Got a little spot there still. That's pretty pink. That seems pretty clean. Get another one to go back down in. And I'm kind of working around these little, I call them cauliflowers. I don't know what they're really called, but <laughs> they remind me of. Got to kind of work in all around there. Here I am kind of using my nail, but I'm not using a lot of pressure. Because all that gunk really gets in those little folds. All right, so then I'm going to push that tissue down in there again. See, not using my fingernails. And twist it. And pull it out. So actually, that's a lot better than the previous tissues. And I could go in there one more time, but I, I know Diamond. I know she, she gets sore in there, so I'm going to leave it be. So after uh, we turn off the video, I'll do her other ear. I just want to show you another dog if you want to look down here. This is Hera. Hera never needs her ears plucked, and I only clean them when she gets groomed. So she has a little bit of hair in there, actually. I could pluck that out and see there's actually, there's some, you know what? I could pluck that out. Let's just go ahead and show you Hera. Let's, let's just switch dogs on the table. We'll be right back. All right, so we're back now with Hera on the table. And I'm just going to show you her ears again. So she's not a dog that suffers with uh, dirty ears, as you can see. I haven't cleaned her ears since she was groomed. And she's actually growing pretty long again. But you can see there is some hair in there. I didn't think she really grew any, but she is getting older now. She's, she's about uh, 17 months now. So that's what her ear looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to pluck that out. This is what we use for plucking, this Pro Ear uh, ear powder. Again, this is on our uh, recommended products page through our website, and you can go ahead and pick that up. This will last you a long time. So this hair out here actually doesn't require any ear plucking powder. It, this comes out really easily, and it doesn't hurt them. If you have a really wussy dog, they might, might complain about it, but this is not hurting them. And getting this hair off out here just helps to keep the ear clean and helps to keep air, air flow for the ear. She's just got so much hair everywhere. Hair everywhere. So that just that just comes out like nothing. I'm I'm barely even pulling. Alright. The first few times that you go to do this for your dog on the inside of the ears, it probably does smart a little bit. And what you want to be careful of is you're you're wanting to. Can you see down in there? Maybe. Um, uh -huh. Okay, so her ear canal is down this way. This hair out here again is going to come out pretty easily, but the hair that's on this part of the ear here, this we don't pluck. We would shave it when we're grooming to create uh, some airflow in here. We kind of take a V section out under here.
but the hair that's actually attached to this part of the ear, it would be very painful to pull. So we wanna be careful not to do that. We're only gonna be pulling the hair that's kind of growing back down the ear canal. And I don't think the hair is actually growing in the ear canal as much as it's coming from out here and it just wants to twist down in there and then that collects all the dirt and gunk. So ear plucking on the doodles is, is something that you should be doing. So I'm gonna take this, just like before, I'm gonna try not to touch her ear with it, okay? It's a fair bit of powder. And I'm gonna encourage that to go down into that ear canal. So what this powder does is it gives you grip. I should have actually shaved that hair out of the way maybe first before plucking, but. So where before when I was cleaning, I was not sticking my fingers down the ear canal. Now I am. So that, that just came out of her ear canal. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna clean out this hair that's right here. And see, Hera doesn't have those cauliflowers that I call them on diamond. She doesn't have any of that. Just, just the normal ear. So she doesn't have all the problems that some of the dogs do, just for that reason. So there's some more down, down in this little pocket here. It really, it just comes out like nothing. And she, she's not crying or whining or anything. She's never been done either. Listen, she I don't done think that. I've ever pulled Hera's ears because she was, just didn't really have any hair in there, like I said. Now, when it comes to coming down, see, you can see I've pulled yeah. some of that out. That's coming from down, down in there. I've kind of pulled that out. See that clump there? Pull that out. See that? That was down the ear canal. Yeah. You can use a set of these. Does anyone remember what these are called? It's like a scissor and it's a clamp. It clamps together. I just, the name okay. escapes me. Yeah. It's a kind of clamp anyways. And it's small. You have to look for really small ones like this. The big long ones that, you know, you find in, I don't know, drugstores and things like that. They're more for doing sutures, I think. The, this is, I mean, you can see compared to my hand, this is very small. You can't go into the ear with those really big ones. So you can, if you can find a pair of these, maybe your vet will sell them to you. Uh, you can kind of use these to go in and pinch the hair yeah. and pull it. But I got to be honest, I don't love this. And you have to pinch and twist. I don't love this for myself because I have pinched the dog's ear too many times. And it's painful. So uh, it's just going to become a matter of your comfort level and what feels good to you. Can you keep Hera's ear that way just so we can see? So I'm just about done here. She doesn't have a whole lot. Just, just enough for the video, I think. A little bit more there. Good girl. And then when you're done plucking and you're happy with the results, then you're going to go ahead and clean the ear like I showed you how to do in the first part of the video because you want to get that ear plucking powder out of there and just make sure everything's nice and clean. Plus, you've opened the pores when you've plucked the hair. Same as if, uh, you know, you're a, a, a human's getting waxed or something. You open those pores. So you want to make sure you get in there and clean everything out and you're not leaving any bacteria to get into those open pores. All right. So that, that's a pretty clean ear now. Oh, a little bit more. A little bit more there. Good girl. You're not going to get everything. The point is just to make, make it so that you're not trapping a lot of dirt. But you can see there that ear is nice and pink. We got most of that hair out of there. There's a tiny bit left in there, but I don't need to get every little bit of hair, and neither do you. You just want to get the worst of the offending hair out of there. And that will give your dog quite a bit of relief. All right? So happy plucking and cleaning, everyone. See you next time.